Welcome along to another video. I am that cycling chimp, and in this one, I'm starting from Bruce's Well in Presswick. I'm trying to complete my 200 kilometer challenge in Strava this month, and I've got roughly about 35 kilometers left. So today, I've decided to cycle to the town of Irvine and back. So if you want to see how I got on, feel free to stick around. I'll see you later on in the video. Well, I knew they were going to be resurfacing the Presswick Promenade. I didn't think it was going to be as quick in the year as what it was. I also didn't know it was going to be a gravel ride straight away. There is quite a lot of temporary road surfacing down here, so we just need to be very careful what we're doing. Well that's me just hit 5 kilometers, and my warm up is now complete. It's a completely different riding day compared to what it was in my last video where we had the 40 mile per hour gusts and headwinds and it made it a very very challenging ride. It made it pretty challenging to stay on the bike for one but it was a great tailwind on the way home. And I've just hit Presley Airport at the right time. A lot of noise in the background with the cars but it looks as if the American Air Force is just about to come in and land with one of their huge military planes. Check this out. It's absolutely incredible how aircraft that size can even stay in the air and the noise of it can over the top of me. Oh, it rattled my bones all right. The weather today is a bit funny in Scotland because we've got rid of all the stormy winds that we've had the last couple of weeks. It's actually making the ride a lot better. It's been quite a mild January up until the last day or two. That's why I've got my heavier gilet on. And I might be cooking underneath it in a wee while, but it was only about two or three degrees when I come out. I'm going to go a slightly different route than I usually do when I'm going to Irvine. And I'm just going to keep following the NCN7. So I'm going to go through South Beach Trune first. I usually get through South Beach Trune on the way home, but I think I'll go up and through Muirhead on the way back, and hopefully that'll get some more kilometers in the bag. I'm only out doing 35 kilometers today, so it's not a huge ride. I've said it in a couple of my videos, that South Beach kiosk is an absolute great place for some coffee. They do a cracking mocha, and if you're ever down in this area, nip in because the staff's absolutely brilliant. They're really helpful. The weather is pretty strange today because visibility isn't very good, it's, it's kind of misty and foggy. That's why I'm wearing all my orange clothing so I'm seeing a little bit better. That's me just under halfway and I've hit 15 kilometers. I'm feeling quite strong on the bike today, even though my Garmin had said that I was supposed to have 90 hours recovery time after my last ride. I think that was just because I was going that hard against the wind. I've had a day or two of recovery. I washed my bike yesterday, put new pedals on because I felt as if the pedals that were on the bike, they were becoming a bit rusty and they were a lot harder to clip in and clip out. So I bit the bullet and got a new set. Now this is where I've got a decision to make. It's starting to get a little bit busier because we're getting into it later in the afternoon. Now I can either go the roadway, which is starting to get really busy, or I can head the road to Shield Woods and through the nature reserve. I'm in no rush. I may as well go the nature reserve way and I'll add a couple of kilometers on to my ride today as well.
I'm really surprised that none of this is all flooded with the amount of rain that we've had. The pavement is really slick and slimy. But yeah, I'm quite surprised that it's not flooded. Well, that's me going to 20 kilometres and I'm just in the outskirts of Irvine Beach Park. I'm actually next to the Millennium Marker that's down here. It tells you on it that Irvine's three miles and Trun's five miles the other way. I always like to stop at 20 kilometres and just have like a little something to eat, just to keep me going. So, I reckon, yeah, I've got maybe about three miles and then I'll be turning back and heading towards Presswick again. The weather's not changed much at all. It's, it's kind of strange today because I said earlier on, it is chilly. My feet are a wee bit cold, but I'm sweating more than I usually do. I don't know if it's because I've got the gilet on. Have a quick snack, and then we'll go and see what's going on down at Irvine Harbour. Well, I was wondering with all the storms when I was going to encounter my first down tree. Well, this will be great to try and navigate because somebody's decided to uh, tie dog poop in a bag around about the branches. Anyway, I think I think there might be a little kind of path up that way, but this is going to be fun. Well, we got over the tree okay, but you really want to know what grinds my gears. See people in dog poop, and I'm saying poop, so it's PG-13. Either pick it up, or if you do pick it up and you put it into your little bag, take it to the nearest bin, and there's plenty of them. It maybe doesn't smell nice, and it's maybe not nice to carry, but your dog doesn't know any better. And not only that, when people are walking or cycling past, either walk in it, or they cycle through it, and it gets all over them. It's absolutely disgusting. So please, pick your dog poop up. That's my public service announcement for today. It's been a wee while since I've been down at Irvine Beach Park and behind me there, there's a big barren space. That used to be the Magnum Leisure Centre that sat there. That used to be a pretty busy place. It had a swimming pool, it had an ice rink, it had a big bowling rink for Scottish bowls, not 10 pin bowling. It also had five a side football courts, it had soft play, it had a cinema and a theatre in it as well. It's actually quite a shame that it's no longer there anymore. I don't actually know why they closed it down. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But the biggest difference I have noticed round about here is there's a lot more houses. That was a decent wee loop of Irving Beach Park. Instead of going through the Shulton Nature Reserve, I'm just going to continue on the old Gales Road and head towards Muirhead, which is just the outskirts of Trun. We'll go through there using their bike paths, although there is a section of road and that will bring us out at the usual cycling path that I use towards Trun. I'm currently sitting at 31 kilometres. I don't know how many kilometres it's going to be today. But I'll give you a ride tally at the end of the video. The elevation is going to be low, I can tell you that, because it's been a pretty flat ride. Oh dear. I just come around the corner there and I thought the back tyre's not feeling very good. Yep. Flat tire. There's a big massive hawthorn that was in it. I managed to grab out my tweezers. I just need to change this inner tube over. I think I'll go for a heavy duty one this time. Just to get me home. I'm starting to lose light as well, so I need to get my skates on. It just goes to show you that gravel tires get punctures too. And it's making me think they get a new fuel set and just go tubeless. I just love this little gadget for true tension, it really works for getting your wheel on quick. And now, to give it a quick pump. Of all the mechanicals I thought was going to happen today, I thought it was going to be my pedals, I didn't think it was going to be the back wheel. Anyway, let's get pumped up and get home. As we got to 40 kilometres, so I can safely say that I've blasted that January challenge in Strava of the 200 kilometers. If you remember correctly, I set it as a challenge at the beginning of January 
and that was to ride 2024 kilometers within the year. So let me know in the comments below how far in that journey you are. I don't think I'm going to get much more filming done between here and home because the light's disappearing that quick. So if you hang fire, I'll give you the ride tally when I get back to the pain cave. See you in a minute. In the meantime, you can enjoy the sunset until I get back to the pain cave. Well, that's how it's got to the end of another video. Hope you've enjoyed today. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up and if you really liked it, consider hitting that subscribe and notification button. Today's ride tally was 50 kilometers. That's another metric half century in the bag and I'm only in January. I do know where my fitness is starting to lack, so I know what to work on now and I especially need to start working on hills. As I said in my last video, I'm planning to tackle the Carrick Hills pretty soon. I need to start getting into shape in some form of training. Rolling time was 2 hours and 28 minutes, although it was a little bit longer out today because I had to stop that puncture. Hope to see you all in the next one. I need to go and clean this bike down and order some new inner tubes for the next adventure. If you want, you can check out my last video or you can check out previously on That Cycling Chimp, which is older videos from the archive. Till the next time, guys, bye for now.